What's up everyone? D Crack here, about to react to another video for you guys. And this video here says seven of the most horrifying moments caught on tape. This video here is by the channel called Mr. Deep Web. Like always, I'll have a link to original video down below so you can go check out some of Mr. Deep Web's other videos. Let's go ahead and check out some of these horrifying moments caught on tape. Let's go. Kind of a cool intro. <laughs> it's like a claw. Like Before we get into the first video, I just want to remind you that even though this series was created for educational purposes, some people may find these clips to be disturbing or upsetting to watch, while others will take them as a learning experience that wish to gain more information on events that a large number of us prefer to turn a blind eye to. And of course, I will not be showing any blood or gore, so, yeah, so if that's what you're looking for, if you you're don't in like the wrong this, place. Then once again, click if you're easily now. offended or do not wish to view any shocking material, please do not watch this video. On May 24, 2001 in Jerusalem, the worst civil disaster in Israel's history took place during the wedding of Karen and Asaf Dior. The wedding took place in a four-story building, but due to structural fail, most of the third floor ended up collapsing under the weight of the guests. This resulted in 23 deaths and 380 injuries. Among Yo! the deceased were the groom's 80-year-old grandfather and his three-year-old second cousin. The bride suffered pelvic injuries while the groom went unharmed and was able to carry his wife out of the building. garden was built near the disaster site to honor the victim that's sad man i bet you the people who were standing on the outside of the dance area were happy Did he just fall off the side of a mountain? Oh, he probably broke his leg. Well, that's messed up. He's Carl lucky Wallenda, he survived. founder of the family business, the Flying Wallendas, was a German-American high-wire artist, daredevil, and world record holder. He often walked on a tightrope without a safety net with success, but in 1978, at age 73, Walenda attempted a walk between two towers of a hotel. The hotel was 10 stories tall and the wire was stretched 121 feet above the pavement. This would be his last skywalk because it would be this stunt that cost him his life. Many believe the reason he fell is because of high winds, but another theory is that the ropes that fixed the cable did not work properly. But as he reached halfway, the ocean wind suddenly picked up, gusting to 30 knots. And Carl Walenda, the best man in the world on a high wire, fought for his balance. I believe everything will be all right. Carl Walenda is the fifth member of the Yo. family to die while walking the high wire. The only place I feel alive, said Carl Walenda, is on the wire. Well, I guess he he died doing what he loved best. According so. to the National Transportation Safety Board, a total of 21 people have been killed in hot air balloon accidents in the United States between the year 2000 and June 2016. Now, those statistics account for people actually riding in hot air balloons. But this first clip is footage taken from a festival in which a hot air balloon was supposed to fly up and release fireworks, but ended up deflating and caused a giant fire along with fireworks shooting into the crowd. This caused many injuries, but I am unsure if there were any fatalities. Oh! There probably were some bad burns. Why are people 
still laughing. That's bad. Where's his at? Is that guy on fire? This next clip is what it looks like when a hot air balloon deflates when people are riding inside of it. The information I found claimed there were two to three individuals in the balloon and no survivors. Yo. That's... On May 25, 2013, a Nigerian ship had sunk to the ocean floor and three days later when a scuba diving team was attempting to recover the bodies, what they found was unbelievable. The ship's cook was still alive and had managed to survive for three full days in an air pocket he found, with no food or clean water while in total blackness. The cook's name was Harrison O'Keen, and the look three on his face days when he found he shows survived? you just how frightened he was, but also how relieved he was to see another human being knowing that he will be okay. Alright, just keep him there, keep him calm, okay? Alright, just, um, just reassure him, pat him on the shoulder. Okay. Alright. Yo! Alright. Okay, just reassure him, give him a thumbs up, reassure him. Okay, so you'll be that a guy's guy. lucky. <laughs> he would have eventually lost oxygen. How's that passage to bring him out? Is it okay? We're going to take you to the bell. Okay. And then we're going to bring you home, okay? All right. So now you That's one lucky motherfucker. I want you to keep calm, okay? Are you feeling okay? Are you sore? Have you got any injuries? Okay. We're the captain's cabinet, okay? Harrison? Man. Can you say Roger, okay? Alright. Now we're bringing you slowly up past the chief engineer's cabinet. That's crazy. Outside of the vessel, okay? He's doing a very good job. He's nearly there. Okay, just slow this brief a little bit. Man. He's lucky to survive. Seven. On average, around 60 people are killed by tornadoes every year. The most common causes are flying through the air and being hit by falling debris. The day a single tornado caused the highest number of fatalities was April 27, 2011 when the Dixie Alley tornado set a record of 335 deaths. This footage you are watching was filmed by Lauren Manu as she was on her way to work at a McDonald's. She claims she was capturing the tornado for a few seconds before realizing that she was too close. Crap. Yo! Did she survive? That's scary, huh? Oh. I couldn't imagine being in a tornado. That'd be freaky as hell. I think she survived, obviously, but... Well, she's freaking out. Yeah. 
dog that <laughs> what's that? The dog wants to swim. <laughs> well, Alright guys, that was seven of the most horrifying moments caught on tape by Mr. Deep Web. Like I said, guys, I'll have a link to original video down below if you want to check out some of his other videos. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure and smack the like button and subscribe if you're new. But until next time, guys, peace.